Welcome into the two-minute drill here inside the Auburn Tigers. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy from inside the Auburn Tigers magazine and newsletters and AUTigers.com, part of the Scout Network. And, Mark, uh, this weekend a different type of challenge for this Auburn defense that has played so well all season long. You know, you go uh, option in week one, Clemson with a running quarterback, obviously some very good wide receivers on the edge in week two. Uh, you go through and you see, uh, you know, more of a, an option attack, uh, you know, against Mississippi State with a quarterback run. Missouri probably the closest thing but Ole Miss at a different level than Missouri. And, and it's going to be a challenge for this Auburn defense, especially for this, this Auburn secondary. Yeah, Ole Miss is averaging probably about 80 or 90 more yards passing per game than Missouri did. Missouri's got a good passing game, but Ole Miss has certainly got better receivers. And this is going to be a real challenge for the Auburn secondary. And I really think, Jason, what we saw uh, last Saturday against Mississippi State was one of the best overall uh, secondary performances from safeties and cornerbacks, nickels, everybody involved that we've seen from an Auburn team in recent years. I agree. You look at it and um, from making plays and not allowing plays, um, they did everything right. A couple interceptions and um, Mark, you look at it, it starts on the on the edge. Obviously the pass rush, Jeff Holland, those guys makes it, um, you know, where this, this team doesn't have to cover as long, which is a huge bonus. But you look at, you know, Carlton Davis, Javaris Davis, Jamel Dean, those three guys playing at a really high High level at corner and when you can have that mark it changes the dynamic of a defense yeah it's a big deal to have those guys back Jamel Dean who didn't play at all last year he's really fit in nicely with the group Greg Brown told us earlier this year that he was really pleased with the way Jamel was coming around and boy he wasn't kidding Jamel's playing physical football he's around 6'2 215 he's got good coverage skills and runs well and having Jeremiah Denson back after missing more than a year with that nasty knee injury suffered out at Texas a and is a big deal because he's a smart quick athletic player in the secondary and you remember back as a true freshman he actually started a game as a true freshman for the Tigers back in 2015. Yeah I mean you, you know those guys and obviously you know the safety position played at such a high level. Uh, Stephen Roberts has been a heat seeking missile all year long. Trey Matthews playing well comes up with another interception on a ball last week and then you go down the line I mean Jordan Peters has come in and given this team some some depth. Obviously Daniel Thomas has been Mr. Fake Punt sniffer out guy. I mean, he's done a good job of that but he's played some key defensive snaps as well and Mark you look depth in the secondary those guys stepping up and making plays combined with a pass rush that's what this Auburn team needs to see on Saturday. Yeah you got to give uh, uh, Kevin Steele and his staff you know some real credit for the way that secondary is playing right now and uh, this will be the torture test this week against the Ole Miss passing game led by Shea Patterson who's the number one a thrower in the SEC. It is, and you know, I, this will be one of those games where it may be like Mississippi State. You may face a bunch of fourth downs. Uh, you're going to see a team that's going to throw it and throw it and throw it some more. And so it's going to be about rotation, playing a lot of those guys, which Auburn has done well so far this year. So, like you said, torture test. It'll be a test for Auburn on Saturday defensively. But I do think these guys just relish the opportunity to to get uh, somebody throwing the ball 40 or 50 times at them. And uh, I think they'll probably end up playing really well against Ole Miss. Yeah, this one, as a DB, this is uh, this is one of those you want. You want guys to come after you and have those opportunities. And they're going to have some opportunities on Saturday. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy inside the Auburn Tigers.